Ghost Arrow, went and found myself a little woman. So, uh, probably won't be hanging around here too much longer. Where did you find a woman at, Slippers? Well, uh, met her on the internet, actually. The inner screen? That's right, Tarot. What, well, you join one of them dating sites? I sure did. Where's this woman from that you found on the inner screen? Well, uh, she's not from around here, so I'm gonna have to send her a little money to help her out to get her over here. Oh, yeah, and how much money you gotta send this woman? Well, uh, she said about 10K to get the ball rolling. $10,000? I know it's a little bit much, but we're in love, so that doesn't, the money doesn't matter. Nothing matters when you're in love. You know what this is, Slippers? That's you getting catfished! There ain't no woman! It's a dude! You're being scammed! No, Terrell, it's not a guy, it's a woman. This is real love here, you wouldn't understand. No, you're being catfished. This is true love. Why can't you just be happy for me for once? I'm tired of listening. Alright, well, I'm gonna go off and be with my woman, so have fun working on your shop. Alright, boss sucker. Oh, my girl hit me up. Hey, Kerwin. What's going on, lover boy? Kind of tired. Thinking of taking a nap after I eat some soup. You? Sounds exciting. As soon as you get me that 10,000, we can eat soup together. Do you have that lined up by chance? Do you have that lined up by chance? I sure do. I'm dropping it into your account this afternoon. <laughs> yeah, send me the money, Kerwin. Mm. Ah, yeah, send me the money. <laughs> Hello everybody, Pterodactyl here, and today's how-to is going to be on how to look up parts on the inner screen, how to navigate some of these websites. So, first thing you need to do is you got to locate the model number of what you're trying to find. Most manufacturers have a different engine than who makes the lawnmower. This is a John Deere. They make the tractor. Briggs and Stratton makes the engine. So if you're looking up engine parts, you need the engine model number. And on this particular engine, the model type and code is on the valve cover. The location of the model numbers are in all different spots. As far as the tractor, it's right on the hood on this John Deere LX288. So if you need parts for the tractor, you're going to have to look up an LX288. And in a lot of these high-end commercial equipment or, or lawn mowers have different deck options. Sometimes the deck has its own model number. So you need to look there too if you can't find the part you're looking for. Or implements like this here air and snow blower attachment. Different attachments have their own model number. This air and snow blower attachment has got its own model and serial number. So if you want to find parts for this snow blower attachment, you need to have those numbers. And in the case of a push mower, here's the model number for the push mower. That's just the frame again. Somebody else makes the engine, Briggs and Stratton. So you'll have to locate the model number, which is sometimes stamped in the front here or on the side. In real tiny numbers, you got to find them. And then we're going to go over to the inner screen and I'm going to show you how to navigate it. Okay, the first thing you need, a computer. And the second thing you need is the inner screen. Now the first one I'm going to go over is Kroller's website. You have to have Internet Explorer to get on their site. Now, you don't need to log in with a username and password. What you need to do is accept their terms, enter as guest. Now you're in. We're going to look up 
a CV15 spec number 41503. Now a lot of these numbers mean things on different engines. A CV stands for command vertical. A CH would be a command horizontal. So we're going to look up a CV15 41503. Say that's your engine. So we want a command pro single. That would probably be this one here. Click on that. And we want a CV15, so we got to go to the next page. There it is, CV15. Click on that. Now we got to find that spec number, 41503. Basic engine. Now there's all your different things. So we're going to look up a carburetor. So we want to go to fuel system. All right, there's the carburetor. Number three is everything. Everything in that box. So we go to number three and click on three here, or click on three up here, and it highlights it. Now, click on that. Now it brings up this window. Now you can find the carb kit, carb repair kit part number, float, all these different numbers because see here, it ain't showing you nothing. So you're thinking, well what, I gotta buy a whole carburetor? I can't just get a carb kit? Well, if you click on that, it brings up this window and this is all that other information you need. A kit to repair the choke. Re uh, repair the bowl replacement, it says. Altitude kits. And look, here's another kit. Here's that one kit I told you about that's got the, the seat with it. This one comes with the seat. And it's saying it's a gravity fed, no fuel pump command. So there's the part number and you can get that kit, that complete kit. Or you can get the other kit, but this other kit doesn't come with uh, 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 seat. It just comes with the needle. So that's how you can find that. Now, another thing, you can go back, product catalog, it's going to take you back to this window, all service literature. Let's click on that. Service manuals, looky here. And this is all free. So say you got one of those old Kohler cast iron K engines. And click on that. Bam! There you go. There's a whole service manual on how to rebuild that engine for free. You don't have to buy it. Everything you need to know. There's a whole manual. So if you need to know something, all the information's in here. All right, now I'm going to show you another site. All right, here's another uh, website that we use here at the shop for looking up parts and buying parts. And this site is propartsdirect.net. Not .com, .net. They're a real good company. So if you need any parts, you can look up your parts on their website and you can order parts from them. This is where Terrell gets a lot of his parts from. Make sure you tell them Terrell sent you. Here's the parts look up. Click here. And then look at all these manufacturers. Look at them all. Aaron's, Billy Goat, all the way down to right standard manufacturing. Kohler, Kroller, Kamasaki, they're all in there. So what you're going to want to do is go down to the second one, quick part search. And we're going to look up that Aaron's uh, snowblower attachment that was on the floor. Uh, what's that model number, Mr. Uh, cameraman? 831010. And there it is. 006022. So there's the serial number range it's showing you. So we're going to click on that one. And then we're going to hit search. And... Oh, you want to click select assembly. And here we go. Snow thrower attachment. And there's that serial number range. And there it is. There's that snow blower. There's all the parts we can find. Oh, I need that. What is that? That's a key, a woodruff key. There's that. Oh, I can't see that. Well, let's zoom in on it. 
There's all the parts. Hey, that part, look at that part there, it's $2.40. Look at this part here, $63.55. So there, that's how you navigate that right there. So make sure you have your model numbers, serial numbers, all that stuff ready when you want to order. Now they got other stuff here too at Pro Parts Direct. They have what's called bargains because they sell other stuff other than just lawnmower parts, see? They got tools, gas cans, all kinds of stuff. Glasses, look at here. Here's a blade grinder if you want to sharpen your own blades. Here's pressure washer pump. Look at that. $59.95, that's cheap. All kinds of stuff. So if there's something you don't see, call them. They got an 800 number. Unlike slippers, who don't know who he's talking to? Look, under shop by manufacturer, Oregon, Stens. Remember I cover a lot of tools that a lawnmower mechanic needs, and a lot of them tools I get are from Stens in Oregon, and you can get them from Pro Parts Direct. ProPartsDirect.net. Check it out. And as always, there's your dinner. <laughs> By yourself? Where's your woman at? I told you you got scammed. No, Gerald, I didn't get scammed. The first 10000 was for the marriage deposit. Now I gotta send over another 10000 to get set up. Oh, well, that, that all makes perfect sense. That sounds like a deal. Well, anyway, I got mowers to fix. Get out of here. All right, Gerald.